What is up everybody? We are down here another night with the Civic K20 K Swap project. If you'd like to help the channel out, don't forget you can sign up or hit up my Patreon or purchase something from the site. So we're gonna kick off today's episode. We're continuing on with what we were doing yesterday or the day before it was. Too many days. So I went and got more petrol for the generator and wow, petrol has risen. Jesus, 175 a litre which is a lot. Like I think like a month ago it was 140 litre, so you don't realize how much money you spend on petrol until you have to fill a full tank of petrol or diesel, it's crazy. So tonight I'm gonna concentrate on getting rid of all these mounts in here that were there for the old radiator and the supports for air conditioning because all these shells were made the same for SIR, ESI, LSI, whatever. They were all made in the same factory, just made with different engines and bits and pieces. So I'm gonna drill out all the spot wells, just four of them all together, and then I'm going to drop in the rad and mark out where I need to put them back. So let's get a start on that. Let's get these mounts out. Right guys, so I put the regulator up there as you can see and unfortunately this fuel line doesn't actually reach down to the pipe so I'm going to have to move it from there and put it down somewhere here so let's get that done. Okay guys, so that's the fuel return, gone from the return pipe up to the regulator and then this pipe is going to go to the fuel rail here and then the fuel in goes from the fuel in around to the other side. So I'm going to put this pipe on now and have it ready for when the engine goes in. So we have this banjo bolt, this goes on the fuel in over there, the obviously the original banjo bolt. So I'm going to put this on and then we're going to get the long line ran. over there, fuel out. So guys, you see on the fuel rail, 
So this will be fuel in, so the long one comes around the side of the engine in here and then the other one will come out and into the fuel pressure regulator. So fuel in, as you can see, all around here with the banjo. And then we have the return all the way up here to the other side. So guys, I'm gonna put the clutch line on the engine as it's a bit of a pig. Now maybe I'll actually leave that. I might leave that. I might leave that till the engine's in. I might just put it on the clutch master there and just have a waiting because Aaron didn't put his Aaron put his in and then put his rad in and he couldn't get it tight. So I won't put my rad in until last anyway. So yeah, let's get this clutch line on. I also have a new accelerator cable, I'll do that in another time. Um, I'm gonna actually get the loom out and hook it up to all the plugs and make sure everything is okay. So I also got a charge harness, so that has to go on as well. But let's give this loom a go. I've been messing at this for about an hour now. I have the car down on its wheels. Aaron said that the engine needs to be in to do the loom. So, engine's going in, engine in time. So the camera went dead, but it's in there and it's looking good. I just threw in the rad just to check the fitment on the power steering and it is touching. So I'm gonna have to move the rad over to the right of it so it doesn't hit anymore. Uh, the pipes fit. I just put the fuel lines on where they're supposed to go either side. And there is a good bit left to do. Next time we're gonna tackle the loom and the radiator to get it all sorted and maybe the manifold as well. So I'm gonna leave it at that for now. Messy head, I wasn't expecting to get this engine in tonight, but Aaron said that you have to do the loom with the engine in the car. So that's just the way it's gonna work. In the next video, we'll see what way it works getting the loom in the car. So guys, thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode. Peace out.